What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are finally talking about this Kathleen Kennedy news that's been making the rounds because it's been cycling in the news for the last 24 to 36 hours. Obviously I've been aware of all of it. Um, truthfully I just don't care about Star Wars. I don't care enough to talk about this stuff because Kathleen Kennedy has uh, completely ruined Star Wars in my eyes. It's completely dead to me. Um, if it works for you that's great. I'm 100% you know, supportive of that. It doesn't work for me. I don't care about it. I didn't watch The Bad Batch. I'm not going to watch The Book of Boba Fett. I, I'm completely detached from Disney's Star Wars. Now, in terms of this Kathleen Kennedy news, I've had a lot of people reach out to me, and I wanted to give a shout out to Sheev really quick. Uh, please roast Lucasfilm, D-Day Cobra. Nobody does it better. I, I appreciate that. I really do. Um, I know that I don't talk about Star Wars that much anymore, and that's just because I have moved on from it uh, completely. I, I am completely detached, but in terms of the Kathleen Kennedy news. Um, the reports are, and these have not been confirmed by Lucasfilm uh, at the time of me recording this video, but the rumor is that she has had a three-year extension to her contract. Do I believe that she has had a three-year extension to her contract based on everything we have seen? Yes, I do. Um, do I believe she deserves it? No, I don't. But that's irrelevant to this discussion. Um, I've been saying for six months now, probably even longer, Kathleen Kennedy is going absolutely nowhere. She is not getting fired. It's, I learned that the hard way. For a year, maybe even more, a year and a half, I said that I predicted that Kathleen Kennedy would be fired from Lucasfilm or at least let go. She would move on. They would not renew her contract or whatever. In some capacity, I felt like she would not be at Lucasfilm anymore. I was wrong about that. I was 100% wrong, clearly by the fact that the woman is still here. But for the past six months or maybe even more, I've been saying Kathleen Kennedy is not getting fired. I learned it the hard way. She's not going anywhere until she's ready to leave. That is just the unfortunate truth of the circumstances. Now, at the time of this happening, these rumors uh, floating around, we also get these reports that both Patty Jenkins and Ryan Johnson's plan to Star Wars project have reportedly been shelved due to reoccurring creative differences with Lucasfilm. I don't know what to believe right now. I really don't. What I, what I ultimately believe in terms of my personal opinion is that Disney Star Wars is trash. Kathleen Kennedy is a terrible leader. All of these things are so easy to understand. We knew that Ryan Johnson's trilogy was never going to see the light of day because of the bad job he did with The Last Jedi. But Kathleen Kennedy, even prior to The Last Jedi releasing, decided to give Ryan Johnson a trilogy. Now this would be, if this is true, this Ryan Johnson plan trilogy, this would be the second trilogy that this woman has lost under her leadership. You had the Benioff and Weiss trilogy. Not a movie. Not a movie. We're talking about a trilogy. Now... We're not talking about two movies. We're talking about two trilogies. Two trilogies under Kathleen Kennedy. How bad is this woman at her job? It's truly phenomenal. I mean, nothing but respect at this point to Kathleen Kennedy. She clearly knows all of the dirty secrets in Hollywood. She's clearly put herself in a position where she cannot be fired. She is way too connected and way too powerful. She has way too much information. My goodness. How bad can you be at your job and still keep your job? You have upset the entire fan base. You have had creative differences on almost every single project. You have lost two trilogies. You've ruined the greatest story in the history of cinema. My goodness, the most iconic characters, the biggest IP, the most celebrated uh, universe ever, and you've ruined it. And yet, here she is, still has her job. Again, I was wrong. I looked at every single piece of legitimate news out there and looked at the facts and said, there's no way this woman can keep her job. Well, I underestimated the power and the stupidity of Disney and Kathleen Kennedy. I underestimated it because Kathleen Kennedy clearly has the power and Disney clearly has the stupidity because She's not going anywhere until she's ready to go. And that is the only thing that I know. Outside of everything else, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it how we continue to have botched project after botched project, creative differences, directors getting fired. 
it's just unbelievable to me. But this is where we are. And so it basically gives credibility to all of my predictions. But at the same time, I read it wrong. I underestimated the stupidity of, Kath uh, of Disney and the power of Kathleen Kennedy. This woman is way too connected. She is way too powerful. And that is, that is the thing that I underestimated the most. Because it doesn't matter how bad she is at her job, she is not going anywhere. And so that is just the unfortunate truth that we're facing here. Um, I appreciate everybody reaching out for my thoughts and my opinions. It, it makes me feel good. But ultimately, this is where we are. I'm just completely detached from it. I, I'm, not, I'm not interested in anything they have going on from a creative standpoint. I'm not interested in any projects. And most of the projects they have are going to get uh, at least put on the shelf, it seems, anyway, for, due to creative differences. Um, and at the end of the day, I stand with Gina Carano. I will be focused on Gina Carano's next project uh, and all of her future projects because that's who I stand with. I do not stand with Lucasfilm. I do not support Kathleen Kennedy. Um, but if you are still interested in this universe and if you're excited for the future of Disney Star Wars, God bless you. I mean that. Uh, I'm happy for you. I'm not interested. I'm more interested in playing video games right now because Halo Infinite is amazing. I'm loving Call of Duty Vanguard. Mario Party Superstars is out. Battlefield's about to come out. Obviously, I still play Mario Kart all the time. And so if you want to, you can go check us out on Twitch, Geeks and Gamers, or my D-Day Cobra Twitch channel. That's going to be my focus moving forward. I just want to play video games. I'm done with you know, caring about what's happening at Lucasfilm and Disney and all of that. Kathleen Kennedy has absolutely taken every piece of passion and love I had for Star Wars and ruined it. So now I'm indifferent to it. I can laugh at it now. I mean, I'm fine with her staying on as, as president of Lucasfilm because it, she can't really do anything other than make me laugh at this point. But that's it. Kathleen Kennedy reportedly is still the president of Lucasfilm and has a new three-year contract. And I do believe that based on the history we've seen from Disney and Lucasfilm. And it just seems like Kathleen Kennedy is way too powerful and she's going nowhere. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Don't forget, Solo did lose money. Raylos are weird. Let's go, Brandon. And we will talk to you later.